Hey there, welcome back. This is a follow-up to our last video where we went over a project setup to use Bulma CSS framework. I felt that we should explore more of Bulma semantics before diving in. So in this video, we'll take a look at the basics of Bulma styling, which we can make use of too. So to begin with, let's just eyeball what we have in our design so we can look for them in the trusty documentation. So observing the design, we can see that we have a navigation at the top. So we'll just call it a nav bar. And the one with the wide image, this kind of design is called hero. And this looks like a section and it has two columns going below we again have another section but this section has a different background color there's again some heading text but that's centered and below them we have a number of cards so this kind of design is called a card it stands out from the background it has a slight shadow on it we can find out whether Burma supports any cards and below those cards we have a longer card which has three sections so some text section here and a text input here and another button so we'll definitely need to look for how to work with columns and below that we have another image this also looks like we can use a hero here and last lastly there's a footer and right above the footer we have another uh, three repeating sections so this could this can also be some type of columns and which have an image and some text so the last element that we need to look for is a footer now so we can check out the documentation for palma let me move this to the side and see what we've coded so far. So this would be our trusty documentation page. So let's actually start with the helpers at the bottom. This a uh, few of these elements we would be using in most of our areas so firstly there's color and how do you specify color you just specify a class like this so if it's a text you specify has text then color and these are uh, the colors that are specified by palma by default uh, so we learned on how to customize or override these yesterday so based on our theme we overwrote the primary color so similarly we can override the other colors we just have to use those various specify those variables and the overriding colors like we do on the right side Then there are some background color options. So for background color for a section, we can specify has hyphen background hyphen color name. So these are some of the examples. Another important type of helper is spacing helper. So this will help us to specify margins and paddings.
the mad margins and paddings come in different sizes they have specified seven sizes so they start with zero which means no margin or no padding and we can also specify properties like uh, with the shorthand like margin top we can specify empty margin right margin bottom margin left and recently they've introduced something like margin x so that would be the left and right combined in the x direction there's also margin y which is the top and bottom in the y direction and the same thing they have specified for padding which starts with p instead and the default values for each of these classes are given below so py0 would have zero padding increasing to padding y uh, if you specify py6 it would be three rems of course we can override all these values inside the scss file before including perma they specified more of those values around here we go into typography this is where we can see how to specify the font size so is size 1 is the largest font size we usually use it along with an h1 tag for semantic reasons and the smallest text size is is size 7 then we have some classes for alignment so has text centered would make our text centered i think this is one of those styles that we are looking for here so i'll add it here and this would be the most important typography or uh, helper classes that we'll use there's also some text transformation and text weight also font family i think we can use this in some conditions i'll also take a note of them now let's look at some elements forms and columns so going to elements we can see button we have a couple of buttons in our design so if you specify a button with a class of button this is how it would look like there are always some additional classes that we can use to style them so if we if we have a button with is primary it would look like this if we change in those classes to the other colors they look like this there are light versions there are different size options and we can also have rounded buttons by adding the class is rounded so this is for something that we'll properly use so apart from the button element i don't think we might need to use anything else let's quickly look at the form and we have some input elements so we'll quickly go to the input element and what we have to do is just add the class of input and if you want a border we have to specify one of these colors is primary is link is info something like that the form uh, the text inputs also come in different sizes we can control their size using another class like this next the next important thing are columns so columns would help us to define columns obviously so here in similar to our design where we have for cards they have defined for columns so it's very easy to create columns in Palma. they all have the uh, wrapper 
active with the class of columns and inside that there will be separate column now if we dive deep into the sizes we can specify the width of each column we can control them like this so if you if you have three columns like this and you specify only the size for one the other two would take up uh, automatic width they would divide between themselves on how much width to take so you can either specify them like this is full is half something like that also Parma supports the 12 column system which which uh, helps us to define the columns by their numbers this is actually very useful because in Adobe XT we can turn on the grid here columns so uh, the columns in Adobe XT they are of 12 in width which corresponds to the 12 column system used by Burma so here we can see that this image is five columns wide there's one column spacing and there's a six column width for this text here and similarly all of these cards are aligned based on the 12 column grid each card takes up roughly three columns and here down here each column takes less than four column uh, for each card takes less than four columns so we can actually use the column system for designing this page let me turn this off and so that's all about columns and finally let's see some components that we can use so we had already noted about navbar indeed palma provides us with some navbar options so they are very quick and easy to de develop so this is the basic navigation bar provided by palma they have more options here we can have a transparent navbar here with this is transparent class there are menu options we can place menus on the left menus on the right we can put menus below there are a lot of options here we can have different colors for the navbar we can change the background colors we can override these colors in our main.css file and i think we can wrap up with cards so this is one of our uh, one of the things that we had noted down so how to use a card what's a card this is a card with the shadow around it and it will have some content there are some different examples of cards I think that is pretty much all the elements that we might use thank you